I'm Deanna Grandine with Trio Landscaping and I'm here to give you a little more information on how to prevent your evergreens from turning brown this winter. Here in Minnesota we've had some very unseasonably warm weather in addition to a lack of snow and rain, including the lack of rain earlier this fall. So our soils are very dry and our plants are becoming very stressed. Adding moisture is going to be very important to making sure that our evergreens stay green throughout the rest of the winter and actually are going to be able to come back and thrive yet next spring and through the years to come. So today I have in my own backyard with a DeGritte Spire Arborvita, which as you can see is actually a little bit brown here on the tips. That is concerning me. However, if we look a little further into the plant, we can see that there's still a lot of nice green that's in there. So I know the plant isn't too terribly stressed yet, but it's certainly making a call for help. I've already gotten my hose out. I'm starting to water the plant very slowly at the base. Slowly would be a small trickle about the size of your pinky. I'm planning on leaving this run here for about a half an hour to an hour as I can see that right now I'm still not getting any puddling and the moisture is being taken up very readily into the soil. If you were to get a bit more puddling, then you know that your soil is a bit more frozen and perhaps not ready for this type of deep soaking that I'm attempting to give the Arborvita. I do have a little bit of snow here in the landscape, but certainly the rest of the soil around it is quite dry. I do know that not everybody might, have, might not have access to a hose or be able to get that out into their landscape because maybe the way that you have your water shut off, it's part of your irrigation system, although watering your plants should not be part of your irrigation system. However, getting access to those hoses might be a little bit trickier. So I have another solution for you. Over here on this Arborvita, I have a five gallon bucket. And with that, have it nice and full of water so that way we can go ahead and water this plant. A five gallon bucket with holes in the bottom of it to let it out slowly might be tricky. So this one actually has a spigot on the front that I can open up at a very nice slow trickle so that way it can go ahead and water my plants nice and slowly. Now this actually, this rate seems maybe just a little bit quicker than it does over with the hose. And being that we're, we have a set amount of water that's going out to this, we could probably get a couple of them and do a little bit of bucket brigade so that way we can water our plants more adequately and more efficiently as well. At this particular pace, you can expect to go through this bucket somewhere around eight, maybe 10 minutes if you're going, letting it out any faster than that, it might be too much for the soil and you might get some puddling as well, just in some normal circumstances. Now, putting down this amount of water at this particular time in the season will not be a one-time shot and you think you took care of it all for your plants. Just as you can't water your plants once during the summer and take care of everything as well. You do need to have a little bit more time and if we stay with some consistently warm temperatures, then we're going to need to make sure that we do water again. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a right back here on our Facebook page. And, and if you tried this at home or you found something else that works, please let us know what worked for you so we can share that with others as well. Again, I'm Deanna Grundine with Trio Landscaping. Happy winter.